All right, Pisces. So I wasn't going to do this reading. It is Sunday. But I got this overwhelming feeling that somebody's longing for you. Like nail biting. I want to reach out to you. I want to talk to you. Like I'm anxious. I'm seeing repetitive numbers. 11111, 10, 10, 4, 4, 4, 4, 7, 7, 7, 7. So for me to get this energy off of me, I've got to do a reading. I get that this person could want to come see you or talk to you very unexpectedly. Um, I was also tasting chili dogs, like a, a hot dog with chili on it and mustard, very specifically. Okay, yeah, you know, it's interesting because I'm just now starting this reading, and have you noticed how I'm, I would say I'm lollygagging, I would say that I am trying to, what would be the word, distract myself, continue to push back from doing this reading, and I don't think I've ever been in that kind of energy before. Where I'm having such a hard time getting my mind on the path of me doing what I need to do. Okay? Interesting. Alright, let's see what we've got. Why is this person longing for Pisces? Guys, if you need anything, check out that description. My booking information is down there as well as my tarot course, the cards that I use, and my Pisces only channel. If you've not checked it out, it's down there. Okay. Why is this person longing for Pisces? You know, I, I keep hearing, I no longer entertain him. I don't know what I was thinking. And I was just kind of, eh, but it just keeps playing over and over in my head. So... This is somebody you've entertained. This is someone where you're like, I don't know why I wasted my time or why I gave my energy or what I was dealing with. But the reason that this person is longing for you and pretty much biting their nails to the stub is because they're feeling called to take action. I just heard to pursue you. For some of you, they keep checking your status on Facebook. If you have like a Facebook or any way that you can see your relationship status, they try to see if you've changed it. They also, if you can see when you're active, they go to see when the last time that you were active. But the reason that this person's longing and thinking about you with the Seven of Pentacles, a lot of it has to do with the investment you putting in the work, the time, and the effort with this person. You know, in here, she's got a basket. Like, she's going to pull those pinnacles out of the tree. But her back's to the tree right now, and the basket's empty. And I feel that energy strong here. You know, we really did put in the footwork for us to get to know each other, for us to get somewhere. The Six of Swords just come out in the reverse. But for some reason, we couldn't get this out of rough waters into calmer waters. For some reason, our basket is still empty when it comes to this connection. And we've now maybe even separated. But there's an energy here of you could possibly getting victory or success. Or you could even be getting recognition as well. Why else are they longing for Pisces? I'm very anxious. They're longing for you because they could definitely want to bring you in an offer of love. Again, wanting to reap those efforts that you've done put in. But there was a, a an error when it come to making this path get out of rough waters into calmer waters. But now they still have that sense of curiosity. Judgment just went down. Hold on a second. So this is telling me that you're definitely... There's been an inability of someone here to make a final decision. Whether it's saying, you know, we're done here. Don't, don't come back around here. This person is wanting to come towards you and move something forward. What's this judgment? 
Yeah, I was getting that there's something here, though, where you might not know a lot that's going on and you can pick up on that. I'm getting that there could definitely be an energy here where it could still be hard for you guys to move this out of rough waters into calmer waters, which is why they're longing for you at this moment. But they could also feel like maybe they can't necessarily bring you or take the action that they need to take to get this to where they this needs to go. There's a lot of things you don't know. A lot of things going on, unfolding. I feel like this person isn't what they seem to be in more ways than one. I feel like them longing for you and yearning for you, you don't even know. Because again, there's an energy here where you have the basket and you've turned your back and just been like, well, dad blame now, but I've got an empty basket. I don't know what to say about it, except I've just wasted time, energy, and everything in between. What you've not noticed is that behind you, everything that you've planted has flourished. And I feel like the way this person thinks, feels, and all of that, you don't necessarily know or see. And this person wants to bring you in an offer, but right now there's an energy here of maybe things still being the same. I also get that some of you could be in this cycle here with this person. Yeah, very wounded energy. Maybe this person hasn't been working on their wounded side too much. Still a lot of fear. I just heard I'm very skeptical. Okay. But they're holding on to you. And that's the thing. I feel like this person's holding on to you, with you without you even knowing. You know, you're showing up as the empress. A very magnetic, attractive energy. You're the kind of person. You're a trailblazer. You live the kind of life that you want to live. You do not care about other people's opinions or what they want or what they need or what they say. And you are an inspiration for this person. But I do feel like this person's having a hard time. Again, moving out of rough waters into calmer waters. At one point, you guys had a hard time doing it together, but I feel like you just really seen things as what it is and said, okay, you can't drown me if you ain't going to save yourself. Honey, you know how to swim, so if you ain't going to act like you know how to swim, I don't know what to tell you. I guess you're going down. <sighs> I'm hearing that song, we're going down, down, baby. I don't remember <laughs> Okay, anyways, um, but there still is a very wounded energy when it comes to this person and their ability to actually move this forward. So, what does Pisces need to know about this? Because there's a reason that this is coming up. And maybe there's something here where you could be feeling this person's energy, feeling the anxiety, feeling the stress, feel, feeling the overwhelming of emotion of them longing and yearning and maybe wanting you and again, looking have you have you updated your status have you been somewhere here recently have you went and got your favorite cupcakes have you been getting your favorite coffee i need to know what you're doing and that obsessive energy i feel like can definitely be pulling on your strings while you're trying to invest in other things and i feel like you guys are putting your work and your effort into other things and i feel like it's truly 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 transforming for you and there's a way of receiving when it comes to whatever you're putting your effort into right now that's really healing you healing you and elevating you because it's making you see that it isn't that you don't deserve to be given to it isn't that you're less than it has nothing to do with you sometimes we ask people for too much than what they can give and you've really start putting your energy in other things where you're really seeing not only the effort, the rewards, but more, more. And that's because you're putting your energy and your effort and your wisdom and your knowledge and your blood, your sweat, your tears into what the universe is saying. Yes, that's what's going to grow you. That's what's going to nurture you. That's what's going to help that divine energy, that feminine energy, that empress energy continue to attract, continue to to let you be a light for this person and for you to be the one that says, let me show you how it's done. I'm going to leave this tree here for now. I'm going to let it do its thing. You come back to me and you let me know in the future because I know you're going to about how much I invested with you and how I made you feel and how you left my basket empty. That's fine because I feel like you do have faith and you know deep down that this person is going to come back and they're just simply biting on their nails right now. Because here's the thing, with justice and the six of wands, things are balancing out in your favor. When we go in situations where we really want to make sure that everyone is getting a fair outcome, 
we will truly win in the end, even if we don't feel like we're winning at the moment. And I feel like now there's an energy here again with the Six of Wands, you're moving forward. You're getting success. You're getting victory. You're also getting recognition. How does this person feel about that? Because I have a, I have a feeling. How does this person feel about Pisces getting recognition? Um, they feel like it's something that maybe they need to detach from. Maybe even something that they need to heal from. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Rolling like a big shot. Um, some of y'all could drive a Chevy. I don't, I don't know. I haven't heard that song in forever. All the rims big, do it ride good. Okay, I see a back and forth energy here. I see this person having a wall up, having a boundary up, but maybe having one so much that it's not serving them because... I'm going to be honest, when we're longing for someone and we're craving for someone and we're missing them and we're so obsessively thinking about them and we can't get them off our mind and we're scared that, you know what, we finally have lost them because I've not taken action, but I'm still not going to do this, that burden becomes so overwhelming and then that can actually turn into our physical body and make us sick. I feel like this person is obsessively watching you behind a wall going back and forth stressing out feeling overwhelmed feeling anxious feeling defeated the more that they watch you it's like the more that this person sees that they need to heal but it's like in this person's mind they can't make the logic of why do I want you but why do I want to keep you so far away I feel like ultimately with this on the bottom, as I stop, I do feel like there was always a lesson here with this person. And it come down for you really seeing, actually, let's see what the universe says. What was the lesson here for Pisces? Yeah, the tower. You know, it's interesting because I feel like you were vulnerable. I feel like you really tried to make something work for this person. And I feel like you really found out or seen the lesson for what it was. That there was a faulty foundation here. And this person didn't necessarily maybe even deserve the parts of you that was so vulnerable, open, giving, and emotionally loving. There's a sense of compassion here that you gave to this person. And I feel like you did have to turn your back because you felt like either this person was juggling you or their lack of decision broke your heart more and more each day. What was the lesson here Pisces needed to learn for this Queen of Cups and Tower? You know, I feel like you feel that you and this person are one and the same. Yeah, but you found out some sort of communication here that this person definitely had other people involved. There was drama. There was chaos. chaos. There was maybe even conflicting energies, but this can also mean competition. This can also mean that the foundation that you thought you had built with this person, you found out very quickly was a joke. But you were vulnerable and you felt like you failed flat on your face. And I feel like you've really healed from that. You know, maybe you haven't healed fully, but you're really starting to let it go. And you're really starting to see it for what it is. But this is something I want you to know. You've scratched this out to be, I gave you, I'm, why am I about to fucking cry? You've scratched this up to be, I gave to you, I've loved you, I cared for you. And you spit on me like I was nothing. You put me in an energy where I had to fight for your love, fight for your attention, fight for communication. Whatever it was, you really, really realized that you should have never gave your love. But what you didn't see is that this person could have definitely or does have love for you, has emotion for you. But they could have been looking at this connection from a very logical perspective. Trying to understand it with thoughts, with logic. When, again, as you hear me say, love is not easily understood with our mind. Sometimes we do things because we love people and we don't think about it, you know? Give me one for this connection because I feel like this person's longing for you. Yeah, children could be important to this partnership. Some of you, this could be a twin flame that you're dealing with with twin flame on the bottom. Um, again, 
there was rejection here. There was one person giving too much. But the whoever the other person is, that person is going through a spiritual awakening. And here it is. They're longing for you. They now see that you invested and they left your basket empty. They now see that you were sitting on the front steps waiting for candy to be given out on Halloween. And you were just, they were just standing there at the door staring at you. I mean, how rude is that? That's the energy here. But again, now there's a very obsessive energy. A very, I'm getting like very anxious. You know like when you're really anxious and you're like constantly going to the same app on your phone. And you're like, I've done seen all of this. But you're just so overwhelmed in anxiety. You can't help but maybe do the same things over and over instead of like calming yourself. Has, has any of you ever did that? That's what I'm getting here. Is a very like, oh, let me go do this. Let me go check this. Oh my God. Pisces is getting, oh God. They're getting, they're getting attention. Who are they getting attention from? Oh God. But again, I'm not willing with that back and forth energy to, to put this boundary down. Woo. Okay. Um, for some of you, this could be moving towards a sacred union. I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. I need more for that. Right now, there is some sense of unhealed wounds, okay? And I see that. And I see you guys going through a time of detaching where one person was giving too much, one person had to pull back so the other one could go through an awakening. Now, I want you to know that awakenings take years. Years. I think mine took ooh, three or four years, and it was some of the hardest years of my life. So... If you've ever been through one, I feel like you can have a little compassion for this person. I want to see, how is this getting to a sacred union? How is this getting to a sacred union? So this person is going to recognize. So this person right now is in a waiting season. But again, this person's watching, learning, waiting. This person sees you as the ultimate fucking fulfillment. I just don't understand. You know, they see you as this empress. They see you as this twin flame, twin flame, twin flame, this soulmate, this emotional fulfillment, someone that really invested, someone that they feel like they can have a new beginning with and passion. So how is this going to be healed? Somebody's really going to have to get to a point where they're going to take action. Yeah, and... Pisces, you could be in a place right now where you're taking a lot of action and choosing the directions when it comes to your foundation. Maybe this is jobs, businesses, where you want to live. I see you really taking action like this person's never coming back. Meanwhile, this person's got to come in and say, I didn't miss my opportunity. I've got to come in and I've got to fight for this. I've got to come in and I've got to fight for you. This person has to get a sense of hopeful energy. Knowing... It's like, I, this person's got to get hopeful again. What? Hold on a second. I don't like this deck. Let's go to this one. What is this person thinking? What is this person that's longing for Pisces thinking of Pisces? Huh. Nothing popped out. I'm just... They're thinking that, again, you're getting... See, this is what I'm getting. They're thinking that you're getting a lot of attention. They're thinking that maybe you're out there dating. You're seeing people. You're, you've got your options open. The Queen of Wands is a person who attracts hella offers, hella attention. You're the kind of person that goes into the room and people are looking at you and you're like, why are people staring? What's their problem? Well, honey, what you're not realizing is that you're the kind of person who has this beauty about you. You're very handsome, but you're so humble about it that people just can't seem to wrap their head around it. Like, do you understand how beautiful you are? Do you understand that people would kill for your butt, for those legs, for that face? Like, oh, that skin color. Yes. Your hair. There's, there's so many things that we take for granted that people would kill for. And I feel like there's an energy here where you're definitely attracting options. You're getting to a point where this person's getting very confused about what you're doing and what you're up to. And they just know, I know that you've got to have other people involved. I know that you have to be talking to some people.
What are they feeling for Pisces? They feel like they want to have some sort of reunion or celebration. But again, they do know that they're going to have to drop some sort of wall and communicate with you. See, that's what I'm getting. And that's been the issue here all along is this person's had a very high boundary, high wall. Something that they felt like was keeping them safe, but it was actually an unhealed part of them that was making it impossible to get towards a new beginning. And I feel like while you're getting recognition from other people, this person is sitting here in their mind going, I know you have to be dating. I know you have to be getting attention from other people. There's no way that you're not. So I know that if I want to come in and actually reunite with you, I have to come in and communicate with you. Drop that wall. Drop that, that guard. And really say, you know, when I think about my ships coming in, when I think about the kind of soulmate or lover or deep connection that I want, I realize that my ships have come in. And maybe this person had an inability to see what they had or what you were trying to invest with them because they were too busy paying attention to the things that hadn't worked out, which made them lose a sense of hope. Y'all know how that is when you go through something that feels like it crumbles your world and then you lose a sense of hope. We need to get this person's next moves. I'm feeling things I've never felt before. That doesn't surprise me because, again, they're longing for you. There's a lot of anxiety, a lot of emotion. Again, I was feeling very overwhelmed and heavy until I did this reading. Now I feel great. So I feel like I had this person's energy on me and it has a lot to do with people looking at you in a way that they don't want you looking. They don't want people looking your way. They don't want people possibly bringing you a passionate new beginning. They don't want you getting to a point where you choose a path for a future and that path leads you further and further away from them. But they have been guarding their emotions, their feelings, and they felt like, you know, up to a point it's worked very well for them. But now I'm sitting here thinking, has it worked well for me? You, you know, you've touched my life in a way where I didn't realize what I was missing until you were gone. And that happens sometimes where a friend or a family member or lover brings so much happiness and joy to you that you don't realize what was even there until they're gone. And then it's like, oh, wait a second. I can't read you, so I play games for a reaction. I feel like this was the person's past energy. Again, in the past, when you were being vulnerable when, with this person, where you were opened up to this person, and you had to turn your back on it because there was a faulty foundation. Remember me telling you there was other people? There was other people. There was either competition, or this person was trying to get you in drama or chaos, and that was the game playing. Well, I want to see if you like me, so I'm going to go talk to... To Franklin over here. I'm going to go talk to Ashley. And I feel like you were like, nope, if you're going to go do that, I'm turning my back. Okay, bye. Because this isn't it. <laughs> and I feel like that was a lot of value. There was a lot of lessons here that you guys needed to learn. Again, we talked about the lesson that you needed to learn for this person was when to quit giving your cup. And really seeing when something's built on a sturdy foundation or if something's faulty. I feel like you really wanted it to work with this person. So much so that maybe you weren't willing to see that you were giving so much and you were the only one being vulnerable. You really threw yourself out of a five-story window with not a care in the world just to show this person that you loved them. And then once you are out of the window, you realize real dad blame quick that there was nothing there to catch you. That's the energy here. I feel like this person does regret and has a sense of remorse for maybe the lessons that had to be learned here for you guys to get to a new beginning. But again, one of it was you saying, when I'm done, I'm done. You're not going to show effort. I'm not giving you my time. And the other one was this person opening up and really getting vulnerable, being vulnerable, not playing those games and trying to get emotions out of your reactions. As I'm putting this deck up, I just stopped at, I love you so much. I'm going to need to express this to you before it's too late. But again, I feel like they're going through a time or a season of just thinking, thinking things through. And I do feel like there's been a hot minute where this person has ran. This person's ran from their emotions, their feelings, from you. 
but now I can't run. Now I'm obsessively thinking about what you're doing, who you're investing in, because maybe at one point you were willing to chase or at least say, hey, I'm still waiting. <laughs> now, energetically, I don't even feel like you're doing that anymore. I still feel the pain. Interesting. Let's get one more. I can't get enough of you. I miss hearing your voice. I'm telling you, this person does not like that you're getting recognition. And for some of you, if there was an energy here where this person seen that you were possibly going to other people, even if they weren't willing to give you what you wanted, that was a little bit of, okay, game on kind of energy. And I feel like that's when morally you guys are different. It wasn't a game to you. It was you saying, you know, if you can't give me what I want, what I deserve, I'll just go somewhere else. Well, to this person, I was like, oh, that's what, that's what you feel? That's what you want to do? Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Again, a faulty foundation. And it crumbled. It crumbled quickly. And it hurt. It hurt. But now, again, you're, you're on the uppity up. You're getting recognition. You're feeling better. You're glowing. Things are working in your favor. And this person is like, okay, wait a second. Oh, look what's on the bottom. I'm telling you, I watch your social media. What is this person's next actions towards Pisces? What is this longings person's next actions towards Pisces? <laughs> the magician. They're manifesting some sort of truth or some sort of happiness. We're going to put all this back together. It could definitely be something that's hidden or something that's not been spoken. This person's next actions. We're going to try to use their intuition, have the strength. Now, see, these are two major arcanas, which is telling me that this could be the universe really weighing heavy on their heart. This sadness and this disappointment, them really paying attention to when they were with you and how you made them feel and really paying attention to the past, which is those three of cups when you guys were celebrating, when you guys were together. You know, the times that they were taking for granted are now the times that they remember but they also remember the bad. And I feel like this the universe is really trying to get this person to use their intuition to come in and have the strength to maybe even speak about something that happened or the reason that this did cele celebrate, separate. I do feel like, again, this person needs to speak a truth. And here's the truth. This person was either sneaky. I feel like this person wants to be honest with you. And I'm for some of you, you're not going to like the honesty. This person could tell you, I was scared. I was sneaky. I was doing things I shouldn't have been doing. But you deserve to know the truth. What a nail biter. What was this person doing? Or were they just scared? Let's ask that. They were working. Okay. So they could have just been scared. They, yeah, they could have been working on their stability. Trying to... get some sort of message of good news. They were trying to get something to work in their favor. So they were taking a lot of action on something else and really turned their back on this collaboration. And it wasn't until they got in this energy of a lot of emotion coming up in the universe really saying, okay, I need you to see what happened, who touched your life and why you're feeling this way. And now there's an energy of, oh my God, ding. You know, like when you get an epiphany, and you're like, oh my God, I did not. Now I feel horrible. Now I wish I could. This is the kind of energy I'm getting here. This person was only focused on work. And again, that could be the sneaky energy. Is that this person didn't even want to be upfront with you about that. You know, maybe this person didn't have that conversation. When is this person coming in to have this conversation? Seven, seven days, seven weeks. This person is trying to sneak away from choosing a path. So, again, this person is trying to ignore that it's time for them to choose a path. For them to maybe take some sort of inspired action and say, hey, I've been holding on to you. You know, it's like this person is trying to ignore the universe. This person is trying to not listen to their stinking gut. Yeah, very conflicted energy. This also could be an energy here of people being pissed off or not agreeing with the path that they're going to choose. They're scared of rocking the boat. 
will this person take action? Yeah, they want a new beginning, but right now they're not looking at the new beginning, which I find to be interesting. There's something this person still needs to walk away from. Yeah, they're still in the midst of an awakening here. There could be something coming in really quickly, though. They could reach out and want to talk to you, let you know about some sort of ending. So what am I seeing? I'm seeing that this person could reach out to you and want to chat with you about something and let you know about something that's happened in their life. But I don't see that it's going to turn into anything too deep. It's just kind of like nice communication. Like, hey, how have you been? Hey, how are you? How's life? Life's been good. Okay, awesome. Great. Perfect. Bye. That kind of energy. They're not going to tell you, you know, I've been longing to talk to you. I've been biting my nails. I've been obsessing. I've been trying to see who you've been with, what you've been doing. They're going to call and want to chit chat because that's, again, a way for them to get information. They're going to give you information to do with their money or stability. Some sort of journey, okay? I see you being very inquisitive, asking a lot of questions. They're going to ask about your stability, or you could tell them about your stability or something you've been investing in. If you do, it's going to be a flip-flop and shock to this person. It has to do with money. So what I'm getting, some of you could actually tell this person here in the past or here in the very near future. You and this person could run into each other and they can tell that you're not lacking anymore. You're not longing for their energy. You're not longing for anything that they had to offer. A lot of you is not even longing for money. You're really feeling a sense of stability and comfort. And I see you being an inquisitive if you and this person has a conversation, but I feel like it's just because you want to have an actual conversation. I see you guys really being a match for one another, but again, this person wanting to keep the conversation at a very page energy. That doesn't go anywhere. That's a little bit of flirt and a little bit of ha 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 and we're done. Kind of like when you hear kids talk, you know, how in depth does it go? Well, it depends upon their age. So let's say we're listening to a bunch of eight year olds talk. They just talk about little things, you know. I'm kind of getting that with this. So, I do see that you guys could communicate. I'm getting here within the next seven to eight days, seven to eight weeks. But I don't feel like it's going to be anything too deep. I don't feel like they're going to tell you, you know, I've been longing for you. I've been thinking about you. I've been scared that you've been moving on. Are you dating anybody? They're not going to do that. They're probably going to talk about, like, your home, your stability. Yeah, I don't see you guys talking about, like, dating or anything. This person's been doing a lot of self-reflection, though, and they've really seen that they need to bring a balance. They need to bring a lot of healing. They know that they need to take control of their future and manifest something more. That could be a truth that they also give you, is that they have fully seen that what hasn't been working hasn't been working, and it is pure insanity to keep doing the same things and expect a different life. So again, yeah, this was a very interesting reading. They're longing for you and in so many different ways, but I feel like they continue to, I don't know, Pisces. It's just interesting. Okay, we're going to leave that here. Have a blessed day.